Memphis, Houston, contact with a test. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two. Uh, I'm Rick Allen. I live in the Pacific Northwest. Um, where I have a studio with my wife, Shelly Mozolowski allen I've been working in glass for about 25 years. During my time here at the Chrysler Museum of Art, uh, in the glass studio has been fantastic. I very much enjoyed my experience here. Uh, the team was amazing. Uh, for an entire team of people I've never worked before, mostly have never met before, not having any of my own assistants here, it was fantastic. Um, everyone's attitude was uh, wonderful. Um, I, before I started working in glass, I worked with uh, mostly, I did a little ceramics at the time when I was, I was mostly focused on ceramics when I was working, uh, first discovered working with glass. I also drew an enormous amount before then, so I was, uh, I would have liked to be an illustrator, but I, I get the best of both worlds now, so I draw and then make other stuff. A lot of my work is inspired by uh, science, science fiction, as well as uh, just perception uh, and aesthetics come from like architecture, decay, sort of a wabi-sabi sort of uh, interest in in uh, industrial decay and uh, including natural forms. The piece that we worked on in the shop uh, on day one was a uh, kind of a, a version of, of uh, spaceships that I've made over the last few years. It's covered in silver, a silver foil that's uh, applied while it's hot and uh, gives it a really nice metallic sheen um, and a facade of metal. Um, it, it reflects the light inside of the piece so it it bounces the light around, makes kind of a beautiful interior glow. Working with silver is is often difficult uh, because it does reflect a lot of heat away, and the whole art of of making glass objects in the hot shop is managing heat. So it is a special challenge, and and it and uh, difficult to. Uh, uh, especially in new environments like this, but uh, we, we did well. My time at NASA was amazing, really. Um, you know, we spent two days at NASA, one day um, just having conversations with uh, people working in a couple of the labs and, and uh, listening to them talk about what, listen to them talk about what they're, they're developing. Uh, they're developing in one lab, the uh, advanced concept lab, where they just, they take real problems and real goals and realize them in 3D mo models, um, both uh, 3D and 2D models and, and visualize them to give them some reference points to uh, create actual spacecraft, which is incredibly exciting. Uh, aside from just what people were working on, just the experience of w walking in, into some of these buildings that were very old, a uh, long history of making uh, um, some of these buildings had a long history of, of developing the uh, early space missions, uh, including the uh, Apollo mission dropping, landing on the moon, which was incredible. Some of the things I've been, especially the, some of the things that I've been making lately have been the kind of referencing sort of the, some of the equipment like the Eagle from, from the, uh, the lunar lander from the uh, Apollo mission. Uh, they actually tested how to how to land on the moon in that in that spot, and that was exciting to see. Walking through some of these buildings and seeing the weird juxtaposition between the very modern, high tech experimentation and these ancient old buildings with peeling paint, and it was just to me very beautiful and very interesting. <laughs>